So it's Thanksgiving Day, November 23rd, and I've made some good progress on the build this week. I've been off work, so I have gotten to spend some full days. Um, what I did was sealed up most of the tank. Uh, as you can see, I have left the back channel off on purpose to do things a little differently. And what I did was assembled the rest of it put it on the wing, riveted everything with the, with the uh, flush sealed rivets. And uh, then I took it back off the wing and sort of took my time getting everything cleaned up, um, covering the rivets and making a bit of a mess. But uh, I felt like I... I wasn't on the clock to kind of clean up and go back and do, you know, do the seams and kind of put stuff over the rivets. And, and then I also spent a lot of time making sure I was very happy with um, the fuel gauge, making sure it traveled exactly like it was supposed to. It was hitting the stops on empty, all that. Uh, whereas I felt like I was kind of rushed on that on the right side because I did it all in one marathon long day and I ended up having a leak. So the leak of my other tank was down here. And luckily I was able to take, uh, you know, the fuel cinder plate off and I was able to get in there and uh, put some sealant in this, this little area down here, down there, and got it sealed off. But this time I just decided, well, I'll just leave the back channel off. I'm gonna put a little water in here, just just, just a little bit, just to cover the, the bottom rivets and the seam on that front channel and let it sit for a little while, make sure I'm happy. Um, then I'll dump it out and then we'll go to putting the back piece on. It takes a little longer, but I have so many projects that I can work on, it didn't matter. I just put it off to the side it's sitting on top of one of my crates. And I did like 20 other little bitty projects. Um, these are the control boots. Um, just one of those things. Um, I glued them with some, uh, some of my barge. Barge, where's the... This is the cement I'm using for the carpet. And uh, it's worked really well. Somebody recommended it online. And uh, I just... I just glued these onto these little brackets and then I used my wood burner to drill, you know, to burn out the holes for the rivets. Um, and then I was doing some little, like this is the, uh, the gas collator. Um, I put in the, uh, the drain and I'm, I primed and painted the bracket because it, I missed alodining it because it was in with the firewall forward stuff. So, uh, I put a coat of primer and just a quick shot of top coat because it's going to be touching the steel. This is aluminum. It's going to be touching the steel firewall. Um, and just because I'm an overkill person, I put shot a few coats of primer and paint just to keep the contact down. And then I, I painted these. They'll probably get painted by my painter, but I just thought it might be easier to at least get a base coat into the tube and all when I can manipulate them. So I, I did that. I sanded them down and, and then uh, just sprayed them with some rattle can uh, that was suitable for fiberglass. So anyway, um, also did some general wire straightening and worked on the controls a little more. Uh, all things that are not overly interesting, but... Uh, I was uh, trying to get the parachute cables to go in and I've already, the, the screws that are down here that hold all this together, uh, I'm gonna have to, and I already torque sealed them and everything, I'm gonna have to undo them. Um, you can probably, well, you can probably see the red down there, the orange. That's the torque seal. Um, I'm going to have to undo those. And uh, because this, the thimble, the thimble on this thing, 
just won't go down between it. So I'm gonna have to loosen loosen uh, these pieces up, get it down in there, get the bolt, and then tighten everything, retorque it. So that was, I wasted some time on that project. And then just over here, getting the, the coax kind of routed through these grommets and uh, just some general cleanup. Uh, what you're seeing there is, uh, this is the gasket material that Midwest Sky Sports had recommended in one of their tech tips. Uh, I just got it out. I had bought it months ago when he did the tech tip. I just got it out to see how it fits um, and how it's going to go on while I was waiting for some other stuff to dry, some the priming I did. Uh, I think that's going to work really good. So anyway, I'll put that back away. But I've just kind of been bouncing around. I also have these brackets, which go, they're like the seat stops. I have no idea. I can't get anything to line up on those, so I put those aside and... We'll work on that another day. So anyway, that's it for today. The wires are a mess, but uh, I'm going to start pulling them through. I got to put the, uh, the last of the control tubes together and put the, uh, I can't remember what you call them, the, the locking little rings. So uh, I got to put those on and then they'll be done. But I'm pretty happy with... Um, I don't have a step stool on this side, but just uh, they seem like they're they're moving just like I would want them to. So um, it's kind of hard with my fingertips, but uh, they seem pretty smooth. And when you when you actually are manipulating the center of it, so I think we're good with those. I've taken them off and on many 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 times now, so I think I'm happy. Um, as with the uh, the rear elevator elevator. Um, that one control is, is even, that's the best one. It's super smooth. So I'm real happy with that. I just got to get everything, uh, the little control locks put on and then rivet everything in. So that's, uh, that's a lot of work without a lot of, uh, reward. <laughs> you don't feel like you've made a lot of progress. Uh, you're not building some huge assembly. So, but anyway, it's all part of it. It'll make it fly better and more comfortably when we're done. There's the rat nest of wires. I need to re-pull back through and that'll probably be tomorrow's project and that's it for today hope everyone had a good thanksgiving and over ate like i did and take care